Good morning, and uh, today we are going to speak to Dr. Kwame Amasino. Welcome, Dr. Thank you. Uh, thank you for inviting me for this interview. Uh, Dr. Can you please share with us how did you become a researcher? Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, I, I would say I became a researcher by accident or by passion or oh, love. Uh, at the beginning, I uh, always love mathematics. Uh, when I see numbers, uh, some unknown, like letters, some missing numbers, it's given me a lot of choice and questions. Uh, then I keep progressing in my career in mathematics and then when I got to my master's and PhD, then I find for the first time that we can try to work, to work on some real world problems and come up with some results that can impact the society. Uh, so I get that passion for, for research and start uh, direct myself into applied mathematics. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doctor. And then, can you please uh, share with us what are you currently working on? Uh, actually, I am specialized in uh, in mathematical modeling or mathematical modeling. Uh, mathematical modeling is one of the discipline of applied mathematics uh, that help. So, uh, that consists of coming up with a formula that can describe the dynamics of certain movement in our society. Uh, either it's infection, is the weather, or is uh, the fabrication of antibiotic. Mathematical model always precedes the experimental work. Uh, that's in science that is helped to guide the researcher. Uh, to a certain avenue of exploration, hence accelerates some scientific discoveries and help also to make sure that resources uh, are used sufficiently efficiently. So right now I'm working on COVID-19 uh, propagation uh, in South Africa and my main target in that research paper is the impact of the environment, uh, the environmental uh, contribution in the propagation of uh, COVID uh, during the, the COVID pandemic times in, in South Africa. I think I'm almost uh, there with the, the research paper, and uh, I think my result will help to to build a certain uh, prediction about all our infection if any will come in the future. That is great. Yeah. And then also, Doctor, uh, I've read where you are using a mathematical model yeah. about cockroaches. So can you please share with us? Yeah, well, thank you for the question. One of my researchers that I published in a very uh, higher impact uh, journals was the, the, the contribution or the involvement of cockroach in the propagation of some uh, football diseases. Yes. Yeah. Football diseases are actually infection or disease that we got from eating unhealthy food or food that is already affected. So, uh, as a researcher, we always, or as a mathematical model, uh, as a mathematical model, we always look around where the infection or where problems uh, always come from. So, cockroach are actually one of the domestic pets that are very close to human beings. Like, we can wake up in the night, uh, you discover that cockroach are in a very hygienic uh, um, environment where they, where they come from the sewage. Cockroach eat from the sewage and from garbage, from beans, for anything that is already spoiled. Then after that, they come to the kitchen to touch our spoons, our plates, to get into food. And without proper hygiene, we eat that food without knowing we eat that food and become 
infected. And controls are also uh, uh, part of some disease that we don't normally know, like uh, asthmatic people. Cockroach, uh, when they leave their impact or their odors on anything that people who are suffering or who are genocide as asthmatic uh, is, is make them uh, begin or with the, 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 their, their condition and that can always lead to uh, death if it's not uh, safe on, on time. So one cockroach contributes a lot in dismissing infections uh, among the, the women's habitats or inside our house and our kitchen. And we need to work on that to make people aware of that. Uh, it makes that also live with us and contribute to our disease and infection. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Doctor. And then when we look at the Vision 130, yeah. we talk about excellence and impact. Yeah. So how is your research uh, contributing to that uh, Vision 130 tenants? Um, I would say, uh, I would say for the basic impact, uh, my project uh, is used across a lot of uh, uh, discipline of science and uh, students in high school always believe mathematics is the most difficult science among all the science disciplines. So um, our vision is to face the role that meets of the difficulty of mathematics among the youngest one, enroll them more and like, enroll more students uh, in our departments to embrace that mathematics that is very interesting, which is even mathematics, even the, the formation of a lot of science in chemistry and biology. So we hope to enroll more students, especially the female students in the future. Uh, and also among us as researchers, uh, we are working toward to enlarge our collaborations with other research institutions and institutions. So, and also today, it is more preferable to work among us as interdisciplinary uh, research or uh, uh, science discovery. Like mathematicians should work with uh, chemistry people, physics and biology, people are working with applied science and all those things. So in the future, we, we, we are hoping that uh, we train the, the, the other departments or the other discipline of, uh, of science to put together uh, the mathematics and the result of science that can impact our society in 10 years' time. Thank you so much, Doctor. And then we see that uh, collaboration is very important yes. to advance knowledge. Thank you. And then, Doctor, are there any Catholic niche area in your field of study? Uh, yeah, I believe today data science and artificial intelligence is very important in my field in the sense that uh, we need at the end of the, theory, the theoretical results uh, of my research to collect data. For instance, we need data uh, from the number of affected people, the number of unattended people, the number of vaccinated people. That will lead to analyze those data and feed them with the theoretical results to see how our theoretical results is in line with the, the reality. So we can make the good predictions and design some control of uh, some control intervention that can strive the, the defense of uh, our society against any infectious disease in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then, Doctor, when we look at uh, mathematical education and outreach, how can we use that to enhance and promote mathematical literacy? Mathematical, mathematical education uh, remains one of the large uh, components in our 
our campus or my universities. And uh, I think uh, we need to explain to the learners the, the importance of the connection between what we live uh, dealing with and how mathematics are applied to those things that we usually do daily or any time during the day. And let us can see the importance of mathematics education and it will help them to improve their mathematics literacy or it will bring them uh, a certain passion to mathematics and therefore I think uh, we can also uh, emphasize uh, from their the mathematical literacy. Okay. Thank you so much, Doc. And then going back to Vision 130, yeah. one of the tenets is about uh, maximum uh, uh, societal impact yeah. and sustainable relationship. Yeah. So from your department, what contribution are you making to the society? Um, thank you for the question. For one of my research people, I'm working with one now that can make impact on the society is the cholera uh, infections. And I, I recently submitted the paper into one of the greatest uh, journals for the jury flow. And so what I was tackling in that research work was the speed of an infection. How can we come up with a formula that describes the speed, the speed of an infection in, in a society or a certain community? Like when cholera infection is declared in a certain region, how fast the infection is going through the populations. And uh, knowing that uh, speed value uh, or uh, speed uh, components, and the vision, the appropriate intervention to stop the propagation of infection should be designed through our formula. And eventually, I come up with a uh, formula that uh, describes uh, the level of the intervention that we should we, we should deploy to stop the infection, the infection before many people uh, uh, die from the, the disease. And I think we are making a lot of uh, uh, impacts for our research in, in, the, in the community. Thank you so much. Yeah. And then, Doctor, what message can you share with aspiring researchers? Thanks for the for, for, for questions. Uh, I believe science is moving. As a researcher, we, should, we need to move at the same speed or beyond that speed that can help us today to catch up with the, the change, for instance, the, the climate change that is impacting the weather or how we predict things. And the climate change also is impacting the animal species and I think as a researcher we need collaborations, we need to share our ideas in different disciplines of science to come up with something that can help us together as human beings living in a society to catch up with any inconvenience that's the climate change or the change in, in our environment is having on our progress uh, or the progress of the uh, whole populations and the progress of our health uh, uh, states. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then, Doctor, apart from uh, research, what are your other interests? Uh, my other interests, uh, apart of, okay, besides after research, my, my passion is more in, in football. Oh, and, okay. I, I have more passions about uh, football and uh, more passion about uh, uh, other sports uh, uh, disciplines. But uh, my other passion is to lead, to guide uh, young researchers from start working on same things and brought them to the lead researchers with times. That's one of the reasons I become a lecturer or a researcher. Yes, and then one of the developments within the Sustainable Development Goals. So, 
for you to advance the knowledge in which collaboration can you say I want to collaborate with uh, these people in a specific uh, SDG? Uh, I think uh, uh, if I look at my research area, I think uh, computer science or computer science is more suitable for my uh, for my research in the sense that after my theoretical results, I need uh, to analyze that, I need to write a code in a certain programming language. And computer scientists uh, are welcome or should welcome me into their areas to teach me or to a little bit train me uh, into coding. And with coding, uh, I can try to compare my uh, my simulations if I want to do such such exams, my simulation with my theoretical results. And, and I think computer science is the best for me if I want to enlarge or improve my research area. Okay. And we are very grateful for having you and Dr. Komi and then he said thank you for sharing with us. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks to share my data. Thanks to share for sharing my uh, my research areas and what I'm working on now. I wish all the others outside there good luck and I'm well done there to our department of mathematics in the US. Thank you. Thank you so much.